In this video what I want to do is show you around the DAS gallery which is found here at uh, the DAS3D.com on this tab and then having had a little look at the gallery from the outside I'll show you how you can if you've got a DAS account upload your own images set up your galleries and, uh, and, and use some of the features in there so it makes your images easier to find for people. So here we go this is the the galleries opening page you can see we've got everything in, in little thumbnails and if you hover over them you can see whether the image has been liked or not and what the name is and the name of the artist which uh, is just there like for example that's the name of the image and uh, when what date it was uploaded all fairly straightforward stuff down at the bottom here you've got some uh, search criteria and categories these are categories so for example for the ones that I've uploaded I could find them by going to object and then this shows you what's in those categories and then I know that most of them are in still life so this gives you a refined search option so that uh, just shows you these and you've got this little control here that allows you to see if there's any pages after that so this is one that I uploaded and I'm not really sure what's going on there but it looks painful so as well as that then you can search for images by their tags so I have put cube in oops if I can spell it cube cube okay in the box there and that shows ones with cube in the tags and you can also search for artists so I'll use horrors so if I search for horror this takes us to his gallery so there's the the main gallery and these are the child galleries so I'll show you how to set these up and uh, and also how to set up the header image so this is what the what it looks like from the outside uh, on does uh, my likes alphabetical oh, and popularity so if we go for popularity it's not going very long so we'll just need to go back to the main gallery so I'll just click on gallery here and then use that option there so popular in the last week it's only been going a couple of days at the moment I happen to know that this image, which is one of the first ones I added, no, it is the first one I added, is quite a large image, and I can just use this to show you uh, how you can view the images. So you click on the image and you get it at this size. There's some comments at the bottom there you can read, and I've put in the description a link, but it doesn't, it's not activated, but you have to copy and paste it into a browser. So if you copy the link there, that will take you to uh, the video where I show you how that particular scene was made. So I'll just pause that there. I don't want to be listening to myself rabbling on in the background. OK, and then you can click on the image itself to see it enlarge the size of your browser window. And then if you click on this expand button, it allows you to explore the image at its full resolution. So you can see I, uh, I provided quite a high resolution image to test this feature. Right, I'll close that now. These are the tags that uh, you add through adding categories and uh, adding the tags themselves. I'll show you how that's done and also the the made with shows you what software it was made with and if it's made with a product then you get a hyperlink there that will take you to the appropriate part in the shop so let's add a a new sub gallery so I've, at the moment I've got these four child galleries from my main gallery and uh, I'll just show you the mechanism which you use to create that uh, little hierarchy so if I go to my account and you'll need an account to be able to do this and you see that uh, this is pointing out where this feature is it's just there so go to gallery and you've on the left here you've got this little folder view so if I click add child gallery now a new folder will appear in there or if I was to select one of these child galleries I could add a gallery to that and have a really nice feature you can drag and drop these around so you can change the structure of these so you can put, put one inside another one if you wanted like that so that's a nice feature I won't go too far into that it's, it just works like uh, an ordinary directory structure so I'm just going to add a new child gallery and I've prepared an image for this already so this is it look it sees JPEG images um, you can drag and drop them in if you've got multiple monitors like I have or you can just uh, navigate to them I'll do the navigation so this is one of the images I want to put in the gallery but I also want a header image so I've got this file here and I've rendered out a very large resolution now the thing about the header images and I've this is something I just sort of prepared a little while ago. Here you go, I've uh, s snapped one of my sub galleries. This is a header image and you can see I've got it ready for cropping. So it shows you that it's 960 by 400 pixels. That's a 2.4 to 1 aspect ratio. So you want to, if you're adding a header image, you want the image to be at least that size. But there is some facility to uh, prepare it and crop it 
here. So what I'm going to do is add a header image and give us this gallery a name. So I'll call this um, scenes from products. Okay, and then I'll click on there and navigate to where I want my header image. But at the moment, that's not a, a, a JPEG. So I have to bring that in, file and save copy as and save it as a JPEG and then I'll be able to see it when I search for it. So go back here, there's that JPEG, open it. This takes a little while to load. You can see there's a progress bar there. When it reaches the end, it should be a tick or something to indicate that it's finally loaded in. And then you'll have some options to be able to edit it. So that's loaded in, big green tick. If I go to this crop header image, I'll click on that now, you have this. That's the the cropping tool and it stays in the same aspect ratio as the size of the image you want so if I wanted it to to take advantage of the full image I could drag it out to the edges or if I only wanted a small portion of it like that then I just say that's the, the what I want the header to be I'll just bring that out so I've got this uh, circle I think that will work okay so I'll just position that there and then I go done it'll just crop that to size and that will appear at the top now, same procedure here, I can either click on that or drag a picture in. I'll do the dragging, show you how that works. So I'll drag that into there, it loads up. It'll be a tick when it's finished loading, and then you can edit it by clicking on that little pencil. So I click on that pencil. Now, because I'd been uh, working on the header image and I'd not clicked save, then and as I've moved on to something else, it wants me to save these. So I want to save these changes, so I've got the header image still, and I'll work on this. So island fog that's taken that from the name the file name uh, it's taken the underscores out because they're not uh, they're not reproduced here so that that's that name's fine but if I wanted to edit it I can just add whatever I want it doesn't really matter it uh, will go when it's saved description so I'll say this is uh, scene a scene scene from the I and to oops to product by Horro and myself okay uh, when this is done I can go back and edit it and add, add a hyperlink to this video for example it's quite easy to go back and edit I'll show you that allow comments it's just check or not check I add a product right this is where it gets really good so I could say uh, Bryce and it will list all the products beginning with the name Bryce and I know this one's islands too so I click on that and that will now create a hyperlink on the gallery um, page when you look at the full size image that goes to this product so that's a neat feature very helpful categories I can add categories so it's going to be environment and uh, nature I could also have exterior so you can add more than one category so if I wanted that that's uh, added that if I want to get rid of them I can click on the cross to take them out or you can go back to add category and modify it there very straightforward um, adding a tag well let's see it's, it's a bit of guesswork here so Bryce this is a good one to add to start with because that's what it was rendered in um, let's see our island if it's got them it, they will appear so for example like octane if it was men rendered in octane octane is in there but some things you might are not in there so let's try see if rock rock is there um, uh, wings but there's a bit of confusion here because wings is the software that I do quite a bit of modeling in but it's also well just wings so uh, there's uh, it's not entirely uh, straightforward the tags you should pick let's say C C C we've got C yes do the more tags you add the easier it is for people to find things that are relevant but don't add irrelevant tags because that'll just be annoying so try to be sensible about these things you could you could add any number of tags and that would mean your image would appear when people are searching for almost anything but that wouldn't really help so I suggest trying to uh, be a bit restrained let's see landscape I suppose that's an appropriate one I wonder if we've got seascape no seascape isn't there so it doesn't come up so you can't add it let's see oh you can add it I stand corrected so I've been able to add a tag there I wonder if I can add wings 3d I'm not going to uh, just do it but I just wondered if it's possible because uh, that might help yeah I can add wings 3d that was probably an appropriate thing if I'd included something wings 3d but I haven't so there you go I don't know this myself all inside out but uh, hopefully this would help you uh, add things because I can sort of show you the bits that I've got worked out so if I want to see this as it's now been added I'll save it this time so I don't get a warning. I'll and you get indication that it's worked there. I'm going to go to view your page. So I go to view your page. You can see here's the new child gallery 
and uh, I failed to give it the right name so that will be good because I can go and edit it and show you adding the name so I'll just click on that it should load in okay here we are there's new gallery the header image is fine and here we go we've got this aisle in fog 4 right uh, what else we've got here there's the, the the like button you can like your own images it seems that's uh, that means you've always got at least one like on your image and somebody's already thrown a like in which is nice here's the link that I was talking about to the product so just click on there and that takes you to the product that's that's a handy feature if we just go back to my account now and uh, do something about that heading on the on the gallery there so new gallery uh, for some reason the name didn't stick but uh, that was probably because I when I didn't save changes and I just uh, aborted it and started working on that so it was going to be what was it going to be called scenes from products product CTS scenes from products okay so I'll go save changes now and then go view your page there you go it's been updated so it now says scenes from products for that gallery I'll go back to here just takes a little moment to load and uh, we'll go back look at this so where we go these are the tags that have been added so if, if these already exist like Bryce I know Bryce does then then you can click on that and it'll open up a selection that already have that tag which is a useful feature you can see there's quite a few been added with that tag so I can see that this is one of Horro's it's an interesting piece so uh, there you go that's um, it's good and uh, hopefully that that will help you either explore the galleries yourself or uh, or add your own images which would be really cool so uh, let us know how you get on with this in the comments and uh, provide links and i'll have a look at what you've done okay then that's the end of the video cheers now